I literally couldn't make this video or any of the videos that you see on my channel without the help of some of the awesome people working for me behind the scenes. And the title of this video might come as a bit of a surprise to you, which is exactly why I wanted to talk about it. Being a YouTube creator comes with a lot of work behind it. There is a lot to think about. It's a bit like running your own TV show, but if you're doing it on your own, you're the host, director, camera operator, scriptwriter, production assistant, editor, finance manager, social media executive, photographer, graphic designer, CEO. Phew. Um, so in order to get the channel to where I wanted it to be, there was no way I was gonna be able to do it on my own. And that's pretty much when I decided that I wanted to create my very own team, plus is a heck of a lot more fun too. And in this video, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I achieved this, from where exactly I found these people from, what they actually do for me, and fundamentally, how I'm actually able to finance this. Subscribe to hear about more content from me and the Dream Team, and let's get started with why I needed a team in the first place. When starting this YouTube channel, as much as I was having fun making it, I really wanted to take it seriously. And having done Ali's part-time YouTuber Academy course, that kind of like really validated in my mind that I should take YouTube serious. But as you can imagine, starting a YouTube channel on top of everything else I'm doing, like having a full-time job at Google, working on like other side projects, maintaining some form of social life, getting other life admin done, and also finding time to relax is just not gonna be possible. Like, unfortunately, I'm not Superman as much as I wish I was. And just to give you some context, right now for us, end to end, one video takes about a week to make. And that includes thinking of the idea, discussing some talking points, maybe like drafting a script, filming it, editing it, creating the thumbnail, and then deciding between a few different thumbnails and having an option for like an A-B test, and also promoting it on social media, and ideally like repurposing the video into like a Twitter thread, or into like a cut down or something like that. It's also like a super creative process, so for me, five minds are definitely better than just my one. So let's get actually to introducing the actual team. And first up we have Marino. And it's hard to find an official name for his job role. He's something like my operations ninja, operation manager, chief of staff, I don't know. So Marino helps with like pretty much everything surrounding the channel. So offering strategies that we could approach, acting as a bit of a consultant on like various ideas we come up with. Like I definitely like bounce like new videos ideas off him. He also makes sure that everyone is on track especially me in terms of making sure that I've recorded a voiceover, filmed a video on time, but he's also making sure that the Notion board and all of the tasks and all of the videos that we outlay on the Notion board is like on track, reviewing any content that's produced by the rest of the team, keeping an eye on analytics, and he actually pulls together like a monthly report on how the channel is doing, where the other opportunities are, what other A-B tests that we should be setting up, and it's constantly finding ways we can improve our content as well as thinking about what is next. And so he's the one who's always on top of everything and help keeps everything so much more organized, much more than if I was gonna be trying to do that in between doing the full-time job and different side projects and things that I've also got going on on the side. So yeah, couldn't be without Marino, I don't think. And next up we have Alex. And Alex has been my writing and researching associate person. Uh, so effectively what that means is he's responsible for what actually is like said in the videos. So he's actually a really good writer who like does some research, creates some talking points. Sometimes we script the videos and maybe we might teleprompt them. He'll come up with some B-roll ideas. He'll come up with some title and thumbnail ideas based on what we think is gonna do better on YouTube, like what similar creators are doing. Um, we'll add like some creative input when we're thinking about like video concepts. And he's also started writing some amazing blog posts which are gonna be coming very, very soon. So stay tuned for my fancy new website, landing soon, TBC on when we're gonna actually launch that, but hopefully sometime soon. So next up we have Afan, my incredible editor, who's helping edit this very video. Um, so I met him through Ali Abdal's part-time YouTuber Academy, and like, you know, ultimately editing is a fundamental part of the channel. 
and the amazing edits that you see in all of the different videos and vlogs ultimately wouldn't be possible without our fan especially because you know i know how to edit but it's not like my passion whereas afan just like absolutely knows it and he also like understands me and what i'm looking for so if you're like looking to get an editor yourself maybe you create content or you're just curious about youtube like fundamentally i think you want to get an editor that understands you and the kind of content you want to produce otherwise if you had an editor that doesn't understand that well they're going to be a good editor but it's not necessarily going to match up with what you actually want to go in those videos. So Afan, yeah, he puts up with me constantly transferring him tons and tons of footage from my iPhone, the Pocket 2, my Sony camera. It's often not in order or making a lot of sense, but he manages to pretty much work his magic and ultimately make me look good, which is, you know, <laughs> what we're trying to do at the end of the day. So yeah, I know it's hard to believe, but I'm not always as seamless and smooth as I seem in some of my videos. Trust me, there's a lot of bloopers. Right, Afan? What the hell was that? Oh, What is wrong with me today? And last up, we have Claudia. Claudia is also a researching and writing associate for me, um, according to her job title, but her role is a little bit more shifted into like copywriting and social media management. So effectively, once content is created, she'll take care of scheduling it all on the super organized Notion board. So what that looks like is writing captions for all the different video descriptions, repurposing content and putting some captions for that repurposed content together. She may help us create Twitter threads and also will contribute to like video ideas, titles, and also writes the occasional kind of like talking points or scripts for us. The way I think about the awesome stuff that Claudia does is she's like the person at the end of the conveyor belt in the supermarket who takes all the different food and things that you bought in the supermarket and is effectively like the chef at home who turns it into the awesome meals. She'll take care of our content that we produce for the YouTube channel and repurpose it all once it's passed on to her to make like Twitter threads, to make captions or to make some awesome cut downs. So that's the team, but how do we actually work? Well, pretty much everyone in the team works part-time and that means they pretty much have different hours and different times of the day that they can work. Like, I don't really mind if people work in the day or if they're working at night and we're all scattered around the UK and like Asia, Middle East. So it means that pretty much we work remotely 99% of the time. So even though we're pretty much 100% remote, we definitely find ways to stay connected. So we'll do like a weekly catch up meeting every Monday on Google Meet to just talk about the week ahead, what everyone's got planned, how I can help out everyone. And so for us as a team, these are super, super important to organize the week, set the goals, help each other out and stuff. And also, you know, just catch up on life and chat about what everyone's up to. And a couple of months ago, we actually did an in-person meetup where we did like a super productive day of work. And we came up with plenty of ideas for the channel, went over everything we thought was working, what we could improve. So yeah, 100% remote pretty much, but we actually do some in-person kind of like meetups and it was just a super fun experience to meet everyone in person. And we actually recently met up again and went to Flatiron in London. So that was awesome too. Another way that we communicate as a team is through Slack. And we can direct message and have loads of different channels on there for every different aspect of running the YouTube channel. So it basically makes it like so much easier to separate messages that are like editing conversations or building the website conversation or like repurposing conversations. And if you're curious to know like what other software or hardware that we're using for running the channel, check out some of the Twitter threads in the description below because we've written a lot about it. But if you wanna know anything more about how we run the channel, let me know in the comments any suggestions that you've got. So how did I find these wonderful people? Well, one of the best sources for me was Twitter. Yep, Twitter, you gotta love it, huh? Um, so yeah, so pretty much Marino and I met on Twitter. Like, I think he started like liking a few of the different tweets and like we followed each other and got talking about like an idea of like a project that I had in mind. So yeah, Marino was like super down to help out and it ended up like working super, super well. Ultimately, Twitter is the new LinkedIn, I think. Um, and met Afan from doing the part-time YouTuber Academy with Ali, and then we started messaging on Twitter as well. Did we? Yeah, maybe we did. But for Alex and Claudia, it was actually a little bit of a different story. 
So I found them through a government scheme that was set up as part of like the job recovery stuff as a response to coronavirus in the UK called the Kickstart Scheme. And what the Kickstart Scheme was, is it was basically a scheme that offered six month placements for young people who are aged 16 to 24 years old, who are currently like unemployed or out of work for whatever reason. So effectively, I found the scheme on the government website. I saw that there was a variant of the scheme called the Kickstart Plus scheme, which I'll come back to in a second. And I basically wrote up job descriptions of what I was looking to hire in terms of helping out with the YouTube channel. And from how Alex and Claudia explained it to me, they were basically like assign someone who would help them look for roles which would suit their skills after sifting through quite a few different applications that I had came in. And after applying for a few different roles, they sent in their applications to the roles that I put live. And after having a couple of interviews and talking to both of them, I was pretty confident that they were gonna be a great fit for the team. And pretty much like a week or two after that, we got started. So that's like four people who are working for me. And like ultimately the Google salary is decent, but it's not like amazing. So how did I ultimately afford this? So as I just mentioned, I hired Alex and Claudia through the Kickstart scheme and specifically the Kickstart Plus scheme, which meant that the government paid for their wages and actually with the plus variant of the scheme, it meant that a different company did all of the like admin, bookkeeping and like timesheets and all that kind of processing bit too. So I didn't have to worry about any of that. That was really awesome because Alex and Claudia were getting paid, but it wasn't actually coming for me. The government was paying for their wages which is obviously great because ultimately the channel isn't making much money at the moment. So any money that could be saved and reinvested back into the channel was gonna be a really good thing. And with the rest of the team, I actually do finance the wages myself. So ultimately right now, I'm very lucky in a way to still be living at home because I'm saving significantly on any rent, bills and other costs that may have actually affected my finances. I also have a few different hustles and consulting gigs that I'm doing on the side, which is ultimately going into the company and also helping to pay for the wages of Marino and Afan too. So like that's like helping someone build like a Shopify website um, and doing some consulting for someone around like enterprise sales and marketing. So all that good stuff. So yeah, that's how I hired the team, why I did it and how I was able to finance it. I think honestly, hiring a team is definitely a little bit of a luxury while you're starting out. I feel super lucky to be able to do so. The Kickstart scheme came in at a perfect time and also having a few different side hustles and savings and also funneling some money from Google into the business allowed me to actually pay for Marino and Afan's wages too. So honestly though, I do think it is so truly worth it. Like it has definitely changed the game for me and definitely benefited the channel massively. Like honestly, I probably wouldn't be able to keep the channel going the way it is if I didn't have the people involved. Like Marino just does such a good job of operations and notion and scheduling the videos. That is such a big help and my mind just doesn't work that same way. Afan does like a really, really great job of editing the videos, which is like a really big load off me. Plus he does it in a way that is significantly better than I ever would. And Alex and Claudia, having them like researching, preparing videos, like repurposing the actual videos as well. Honestly, it's just such a level up for the channel that I definitely wouldn't be able to do on my own at all. And of course, there's always factors you have to keep in mind, right? Like you wanna hire the right people who understand the vision, can adopt to your tone if we're writing things. Like I want it to kind of feel as if it is actually me writing it because it's gonna probably be me saying it. Um, and is also able to like trust in the content and also what we're producing and also have an editor who knows what I'm trying to do and the kind of ways that I work and the kind of like different animations and effects that we wanna have on screen. So I'm sure there are definite horror stories out there but for me, it was the right choice and I'm super excited to keep working towards the future of the channel, whatever it looks like. Hope you enjoyed this little insight into how I run the channel. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know any kind of comments or questions that you'd like to know about how I actually do on the channel and check out this video here, which is a video that YouTube recommends from my channel that you should watch next. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.